had a viewer find one of a kind double die top pop highest graded highest finest known stay tuned because we're going to talk about that in this video and I'm going to show it to you and I want to let everyone know here's my website PortsmouthCoinShop.com I have more graded coins up and I will have more raw coins listed today I'm going to be working on that um, as I said you know things sell so fast off the website that it's hard to keep it populated with uh, inventory so anyway, that, and then also, I want to remind everyone that I have several playlists over here. On I did the one on the 69S double die link and cent, buying and selling coins. I have a playlist for coin dealer videos that I did, counterfeit coins, mint errors, non-mint errors, which show you a lot of damaged coins, and I actually show you how some of these are created. Clean coin videos, should you submit your coins for grading, link and cent variety guides, Jefferson Nickel, grading submissions. I mean, you name it. You come down here and we've got some live streams that I did with CoinOp. Um, just, there's just all kinds of videos that you can come down here and you can watch and you can scroll through. I'm almost 400 videos. So now, let's get to the subject at hand. There was a viewer named Billy Erkson and he's from down south, down Alabama. And he started uh, watching Blue Ridge Silverhound and my coin channel and started finding out some of these modern coins can go for a lot of money if there's certain varieties and certain grades. So he decided to look through, um, first off, he was looking for the transitional error in 89. Uh, that's, he didn't see any of these rolls or anything like that. He got to watching my channel a little bit and realized that, you know, if you're going to find something like a variety like that, you need to do your homework. You need to look things up. And then once you find one, you need to do, send it off and have it properly graded. So he was going down through one of his 88 rolls, and he found a doubled ear, the FS-101, which is actually a double die. And he looked at the coin, he sent it off to have it graded the PCGS uh, per instructions in my videos and how I told him how he had to do things. And they sent it back graded, Mint State 66, but no double die on it. He forgot to click the variety attribution on the form. When you're doing the online or the actual physical form, there is a little box you check and you're going to have to pay, like I said, it's an extra $18. Or PCGS will not put any variety on your label. Not only that, if it's not a listed variety on PCGS, accepted by PCGS, they won't put it on the label either. So it's very important here to know these kind of things. Well, he sent it back and they sent the coin back to him, graded the same grade and put the attribution on there. They put the variety attribution on there. And of course, you know, he called me up and he told me what he had. And at first I was like, come on, you know, this guy really have a top pop of a 88 double die. You know, it doesn't, that I didn't trust him or that I didn't think that he was legit. It's just that it was found in a roll. He's talking about finding this thing in a roll and it's a top pop, you know, and that, that's kind of one of those things where that's very rare to find something top pop out of a roll from a bank. And he made a trip all the way up from Alabama to visit. And sure enough, he had the coin that he said he had. He's like, look, I'd like for you to handle this. You know, he's been planning the trip and he came all the way up here, him and his wife, and we met and they're great people and, and they're friends of mine now. And what we did was I told him I would handle it and we'll just see what it goes for. Well, one of the things about this, and I'm going to show you the coin. Here's the coin. Okay. Now it is one of a kind. There's no other coin graded this grade for this double die. Okay. We couldn't find a value for it. There was no way to determine it. Now, right now, it's with buyer's premium, it's at $750. Now, like I said, it's PCGS graded, double deer, FS101, MS66. And here's the reverse. And, you know, the thing of it is, is that what we're looking for, I just want to click on it here, get a little bit closer, is that the ear is extra thick. Okay, now that just means it's a double die. So even with this coin being the only one known in this grade, you don't know how to value it. It doesn't mean it's worth thousands. It could be. It might go for thousands. It, it might stay where it's at. You don't know. I think the auction ends in a week, whatever it is. And I told him that I would do a little uh, article on this. But, you know, regardless, it's a great find. I mean, this was found in a roll from the bank that he put back. Um, he got it for a penny basically, and yes, he had to put a couple of different sets of grading fees in it, but right now, I mean, you know, you sell a coin like this for, you know, 600 some dollars, and you pay a little commission, you know, whatever, um, you know, you're doing pretty good, so take a look at the coin one more time, and like I said, it's got a lot of file marks from 
the dice, so it's a later die stage. You know, maybe it would have gotten 67 if it was a little um, earlier for die stage. You know, I don't know. But, you know, we're going to watch it. It's over on Heritage Coin Auctions. Uh, it's in the Mint Error Auctions. Uh, I think the catalog is the, um, it's called the Error Coinage U.S. Coins Month-Long Online Auctions right here. If you wanted to come over and watch it, um, I'll put a link down in the descriptions. You know, for those of you who would like a chance at a top pop, maybe a, an 88 double die, um, <laughs> here's your chance. And, you know, right now it's, it's at a pretty good price where, you know, it's affordable. But, you know, another thing, 88 is the year I graduated from high school. I know it's kind of funny, but, you know, things come around like that. I pick up on things like that. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know, congratulate him on, on his fine. You know, I don't typically uh, mess with coins if it's already graded, and I think that it's it's worth sending the auction. You know, I'll handle it. I'll help somebody out a little bit. You know, but that's the only reason why I decided to do this. You know, plus he's just he's just a big fan and just a really great guy, and him and his wife. So thanks for watching my latest video, and uh, please like, share, and comment, and hit that little sub button. And above all, have a great day.